Hi, Sophie King's Drunk back again at Kitchen of Dreams with yet another attempt of a Scottish craft beer review. What I've got to review just now is one from the Alchemy Boys again in Livingston, and it's kindly been sent to me. And it is the Alchemy Malt Bomb Modern 80 Shilling uh, Ale 4.5 on the Richter scale for this one. Malt Bomb, expecting big, big things from this. So I've dug out my Spey Valley glass, and the reason for that is Spey Valley, Alchemy and Broughton are the triangle of uh, Scottish craft beers. All well worth checking out. All well uh, worth checking out. They've all got some fantastic beers uh, for all palates. So check these guys out. So I've dug out the Spey Valley glass for this, so I'm going to give it a pour. The Malt Bomb. Modern 80. Oh, here we go. I do like these kind of beers. This is the right time of year for this. Look at that. That that looks fantastic. That's the way beer is. That's the way beer was when Old Ship was a pup. <laughs> Did anybody remember Old Ship? <laughs> Answers on a postcard. So anyway, who knows? Oh my god, that smells. That smells delightful. The, the malt in that, it's got a bite 4.5 and it's smelling, it's smelling stronger than that to be honest. The backbone is solid. It's a solid backbone on this multi backbone. Oh, this is going to be a treat. So anyway, Sophie King drunk drinking a ah, malt bomb modern 80 shilling. And if anyone doesn't know what 80 shilling is, it was the taxation on the barrels. So if it went over a certain percentage of a Richter scale, as I call it, of alcohol, you get 60, 70, 80, 90 shilling. So that's what that was. 80 shilling would have been, well, do the maths, mate. That would have been about four poon. Four poon. So anyway, let's go in for the... Uh, Oh, I can't can't wait any longer. Slangy for her. Oh my goodness. That that is top draw. Lovely multi backbone. First glide right over the tongue. It's almost like i going to say something really silly, but it's almost like stout light. It's got that lovely chocolate glide, malt, moorish, lovely sort of dry, uh, almost dry roasted uh, kind of feel in the mouth, on the tongue. Very moorish. Very, very annoyed. It's only a 330 bottle. <laughs> and I'm very annoyed I've only got one of them. That is fantastic. Let's get the eyes on, see what it has to say for itself. These guys hail out of Livingston in Scotland. And it is the Alchemy Brewery. Cool name for a brewery, Alchemy. Uh, malt Bomb. It's made with 10 different malts. Did get the roasty, I get the dry roasted sort of. It says here, Biscuit. Mmm, I'm getting that dry roasted smack. You no, know, like when you've been down the pub and somebody brings out the back of the dry roasted peanuts and they pass them round, and then suddenly you're last in the queue to get them, but you got all the flavouring, and you just put them in your hand, and you've got that lovely sort of dry rub. That's what that's got. It's got a lovely sort of uh, dry dryness. I suppose it is biscuity when you maybe I'm using the wrong words. Because I'm out there on my own. <laughs> this may contain sediment, haze. You're not seeing through that. It's absolutely pitch. Pitch dark. Lovely murky colour. That's the way beer was. Back in the day. This is absolutely fantastic. We are part of the revolution. We are now the revolutionaries. We are alchemists. We search for inspirational elements. Ideas, flavours before mixing them together. In our unique way and create the best beers you'll ever taste. Do you know what? That is absolutely stonking. That is stonking. 
that's one of those beers. If anyone from Alchemy is going to watch this, get that in a 500ml uh, uh, bottle. That that would that for me, I would session that. That is really good. That is top draw. Absolutely lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. I, I love the way it's kind of got that sort of dry roasted, almost like uh, dry roasted kind of peanut. It's not peanut, but you know what I'm talking about, the residue of a dry roasted peanut. Uh, the malt. Lovely. Moorish. Very, very easy, easy drinking. So is it one I drink again? It certainly most is one I would drink again. So anyway, what am I going to give? The Alchemy Brewery Malt Bomb, Modern 80. I'm going to give that a Sophie Drunk rating of, I'm going to give that a 9.25. This is uh, out of 10. This is really, really up my street, uh, this kind of beer. Only gripe, guys, if anyone's watching this, I would like to see that in a 500ml bottle. Uh, that would be that would be a great seller at three uh, thirties. I can understand the five hundred. It would be really good. So anyway, if you've had the Alchemy Malt Bomb Modern Eighty Shilling before, you liked it, you didn't like it, drop a line below. And if you're long, you stayed along in this video. So if you can jump, so let you check these guys out. Uh, this is the second beer I've uh, reviewed from them. Check them out. They're from Livingston. Uh, they're part of the trilogy of brewers, uh, Alchemy, uh, Spey Valley and Broughton Brewery. The, the trilogy of uh, breweries. Check them all out. There's something on every one of their websites to suit every palate. So anyway, Slangy Va, if you stayed along in the video, Sophie King John salutes you and they'll hopefully catch you in another Scottish craft beer review real soon. Slangy Va, keep drinking the good craft beers out there now. Chow for now.